Good afternoon, Mr. Rath. It's been a long time. I'd like a tasting. Your past fondness for the German varietals, but I can wholeheartedly endorse the new breed of Mizraeus. Glock 34 and 26. Contoured grips. Flared Magwell for easier reloads. And I know you'll appreciate the custom porting. What's next? I need something robust. Precise. Robust. Precise. Banded Evo. 11.5 inch. Compensated with an iron bonded bolt carrier. Trigicon AccuPoint with 1 6 magnification. I have everything sent to your room. Yes. Thank you. Excellent. Mr. Rath. Do enjoy your new toy. Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the Bandit Evo. Now before I move on, if you want to see all the details of the original Bandit rifle, the link will be down in the description. So what's the difference between this and the original Bandit rifle? Well, this rifle has basically a red dot sight added to the top rail. This optic is known as the EVO hollow point sight. The optic is capable of a 1.6x magnification and includes an ammo counter to inform the user of how many rounds remain in the mag as they are aiming down the sight. In my opinion, I wish 343 added back the classic EVOS D scope because from a realism standpoint, this red dot sight looks so damn small to the point where it's like, it's like a red dot that's more meant for pistols just being slapped on a rifle. But that's just me looking at it from a from a realism standpoint. Moving on to in-game stats, the Bandit Evo holds 60 extra spare rounds, so an extra magazine over the original Bandit rifle. The fire rate has been slowed down slightly to about 200 rounds per minute. Now both the Bandit rifle and Bandit Evo have the same max effective hip fire range at 34.5 meters. This is an increase in hip fire red reticle range and the only change the original Bandit rifle shares. As for using the actual EVO hollow point sight, the max effective range is 55 meters. Due to the fire rate nerf, the TTK also got a bit of a nerf. Since this is the new competitive starting weapon, 343 wanted to slow down the fire rate to match the BR's TTK. In which case, I got a similar result with the Bandit Evo at around 2.93 seconds for body shots. As for headshots, similar to the BR, I also got around 1.6 seconds. And that's pretty much it on the Bandit Evo. Overall, I'm glad this is the new starting weapon for competitive play. The BR just sometimes was just too forgiving in this game, and can sometimes just give you free shots. Not saying the BR takes no skill, but a player who's in a losing BR gunfight can't really turn the tide in their favor. It's possible, but it's just very difficult. This rifle, on the other hand, the Bandit Evo, is going to make individual players shine. There will be more moments when a player is one shot, and because the bandit rifle is a single shot, players that have no shields can absolutely take a risk and re-challenge opponents and come out on top, when on paper they probably shouldn't have. So I think this is a positive change for the game going forward. My only concern about this gun is that I'm not sure how I feel about the 1.6x zoom on the EVO hollow point site. I believe it should be a 2x zoom, as that's usually the standard when it comes to competitive starting weapons. And that's all I gotta say. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel, and let me know your thoughts on the Bandit Evo in the comments below. And until next time, peace.